Kia ora, welcome to my happy place. Um, I've come on to do a craft video. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to do, but sort of. I've got this bit of card here that I'm going to do something with. And when I was going for my walk the other day, I found this feather. Oops, sorry. Better take you right back. I found this feather, so I thought I might do something with a feather on it. But I've got some um, bits of leftover um, kitchen towel. So I thought I'd put that on for a base and see how we go from there. You know me, I never know what I'm going to do. <coughs> Please excuse my coffee sniffiness. Uh, yeah, we had a lovely, beautiful, sunny morning after a light frost this morning i think it was about three degrees this morning which wasn't too bad um, but it looks like it is going to rain right now see how we go here So love using these napkins. Get a little bit of glue and um, spray and stuff on them, and they look really cool. Right, that's the one big bit we had. Let's see if I can just pull that off there. Right. I've got another bit here. It's not going to be quite enough. No. I think we'll just um, see what we can do. Mm. Right, I think this is the, the right way, so... I'm just going to do, try and get it, whoops, I'm going to cut that off a bit small, never mind, <coughs> get that down, I took Frankie to the vets this morning, to get, to get him neutered because he's six months old and um, we weren't supposed to pick him up until between four and five this afternoon and at quarter to ten they rang us back to ask if we could go and pick him up he was awake and um, very distressed he did not like being in in the cage. And when we went to pick him up, as soon as we walked in the door, we could hear him performing. And he was still out the back. Um, and he never shut up until we got him home and let him out of the cage. He right preformed and so he's not allowed outside for the rest of the day he's got to stay inside um because he had an anesthetic and he's still quite wobbly so um we just can have to persevere with a mooching around he's still quite wobbly and falls asleep every now and then 
Oh, poor wee thing. He did not like that, that one little bit. Right. Oh, just see if I can trim that bit off without destroying it. over the top of that just to just to seal it oh please excuse me knock it over even though it's way over there I'll reach for something I'll just draw right I'm back and I've um, dried it and trimmed it and what are we going to do now that I've done that um, Fish some stamps out. So what I might do a little bit of background stamping. Maybe some embossing. Not that I'm very good with embossing, but I'll just get a little bit of background going in here, full of spaces. Yeah. Just takes a little bit away from the. Uh... Now let's get a little bit of paint. Shall we go? Uh, what will we do? I think we're going to do deep purple and a deeper blue and a Color pink and see how we go. Oops, I always pop it up too much. I'm still, still struggling to get my get myself back into my. into my um, or get my mojo back I seem to be floundering every time I come on I knew I'd put too much paint down I always do mm. That one hasn't been used for a little while. Right. It's moved off. Let's wipe this out a little bit. Right. So I'm 
not in too bad. Right. Do this pinky one. Um, my daughter-in-law has just rang me up. Um, my son and daughter-in-law put a offer in on, on a house yesterday. And um, the owner came back with a um, with a counter offer, and they've accepted it. He's very excited. Because they're buying their first home later in life. He's 42. Or is he 43? No, 42. And um, it's looking good. I'll just dry that off. Right, I'm back and I've dried it off and now I've fished out some stamps and I think I might just emboss some little feathers on. I'm going to go there, so I might just have a couple down the side now. This is not something I'm very good at, so we will see how it goes. See if my stamp is going to stick. Now, we're going to go down this way. Now, I'll just try it with one first, just to see how I'm going to go. This is not something. Right. Let's get that out of the road there and see how we go. my little feather and it is um I don't know if you can pick that up but it's got all little colours through it. Well, it didn't turn out too bad. Alright have another little go. And I'm trying these because Teresa Sims is a big stenciling fan or embossing fan, should I say? And she's always saying, Have a go. So happy with that. There's my feather crop. This is how my feather is going to go. No, my feather is going to go this way. I might put a couple 
put it on this side. put it on there. <laughs> oh. Really is old lady-ish doing that. No disrespect to old ladies. Oh, really quite pleased with that. Right, put this away before I put it everywhere. going to glue my feather down there it's a little bit curled because it was very wet when I picked it up and I let it dry but that's okay so I'm going to glue that down we'll see how we go and I think I'm going to do it on the feather it has a little bit of a break in it but that's okay I can disguise that Right, where are we going to go? We are going to go there, like that. So that's what it's looking like. Maybe I should have done those feathers white. It was a bit silly, wasn't it? I wonder if I could heat them up and put white over the top. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's okay. Right, I'll just pop those up out of the road. And I think now another thing that I have never done before really a lot of is blinging things up. So I thought I might have a go at that. And I've got quite Quite a lot of, of bling now that so I have lovely ladies that have been um, sending me stuff in happy mail. Right. Not quite sure what I've got in here. Right. tail but no I think I want something that runs all the way down just a little bit of gold bling might be nice You can't hear my husband talking outside. He's talking to the next door neighbour about how he should go about his bench. Because he's got this beautiful piece of Remu and he's got to cut bits out of it to fit. And he doesn't want to destroy it. I think that's enough. I think I'm going, that's what I'm going to do, I think, I'm going to, oh, I think I cut too much, I'll run it from there, down to there, and that might just disguise our little broken bit, 
Now I think this has a sticky on it, which my shaky hands don't want to get apart. I hope my head's not in the way there. Right. Yeah, well, that's the key hold. So I might just run a little bit of hot glue down it as well. Right. Right. Right up there. out of the road. Mm. Move it over. Oops. Wanted to go right down the front. And I'll just cut that off. Let that go down. What we're looking like. Now, what else are we going to do? I am really floundering a little bit. Um, I hope that's going to stick. All right. That's what it's looking like. Right. Put some in there. Well, that's not a flower, that one. I think I might have it anyway. I quite like it. Over here. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Right, and we have a little purple one. It's winter time, so I started getting splits on my hands again. They um, don't like the cold weather. And I do have a little, another little blue one. That I might, no, I thought I might want to put a word down there, so I might just put it in here. Right. A bit blue. I'm still videoing. All right. Now we want some words for down there, don't we? I thought maybe a little bit of. Now I have got. Mica sprays, but I'm not quite sure which one to do. Right, let me have a go at this one. Just give me a oops, right, put some spots on you. On our feathers. Oh, I don't know if you can pick that up, but the colour on the feather is beautiful. A bit of a dry up.
Now I look at it now and I do not want to put some very, very, very small pearls here. Mm. No, I don't like that either. We need a little butterfly or a little something just to pop over the I'll come back when I find something. Ooh, look at this. Right, um, I'm back and I found a little blingy butterfly that I've put on it. I thought that the um, something on here was just too thick and um, I love the, the green. I don't know if you can just pick it up, but the green mica on it is just beautiful. I love it. So I'm just going to give it a oh. give it a bit of colour around the edges. Is falling down everywhere. Right. Maybe this one. Everything has beauty. Now this is trying new things for me to get my mojo back. Um, something different that I haven't done before. And I hope you've stayed around to watch me do it. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and a comment so I know that you've been. Um, and kia kaha, stay strong, and I'll catch you again soon.